Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lion's Table. Let's take a moment to enter into the presence of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let God's word, which is truth, fill us and give us strength. Let us contemplate his great love for us, his sacrifice on the cross, his mercy, grace, and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Word, who was at the beginning, was with God and is God. Why did we choose the name of our channel, The Lion's Table? Let's look to Revelations 5, verse 5. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed to open the scroll and its seven seals. The Lion of the tribe of Judah has triumphed. So rejoice, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Indeed, even though we are yet in a fallen world, we can rejoice in the day that the Lord has made and be glad in it because we have aligned ourselves with the lion of the tribe of Judah. Don't turn to the world for truth. Don't turn to the world for its science. Don't turn to the world for wisdom, for comfort, for all that you need. Turn to God. I think a great majority of people today think that this world is what we make of it. Even Christians, some Christians get on board with that. So they think that they must take action to change the world. Well, that's not possible, folks. Only God can change the world. And believe me, he's going to do that. What can we do? We can rejoice in the day that the Lord has made. And why is that? Because only God is good. Not man's science, not man's vision for the world. We do not put our trust in mortal man who cannot save. Psalm 146.3 we give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. This is from the Lord, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us, we pray. Psalm 118, 23 through 25. Remember, when you get out of bed every morning and you think of all the things going on, all the problems, or all the things you don't like, or things you can't change, or things you wish to change and somebody may be not a letting, to, letting happen or maybe you can't do it or whatever is going on that the world seems to be causing you pain or suffering or anxiety or trouble, the first thing we should do in the morning, those of us who are in God, in Jesus, in his kingdom, is to, be, is to rejoice and be glad in the day. Well, how can you be glad in a fallen world? How can you be glad in a world where where people starve and murder each other and do absolutely horrible things to themselves and others, things that are unspeakable. How can you live in a world that, that, that has such grotesque distortions of human nature? How can, you, how can you rejoice and be glad? How can you stand each day living in a world where you're getting old and weak and there's pains and aches and you get sick and nothing but trouble, sometimes one after another? How does one who is in Christ... <clears throat> make it through each day. Well, I'll tell you how. First of all, you need to remember some very important things every day. And you start by rejoicing in the day. And then you think to yourself, you know what? I don't belong to this world. My world, the world of my God is coming. It has the victory. This world has lost. This world has no future. And we know for a fact that the future world belongs to to us. Yes, and you know, just as you said that, that pretty much it pertains to the fact that this world is passing away and the Lord is going to return. Don't you think that this is exactly referring to the day of his return? This is the day. Yes, absolutely. That's what Paul was saying. Paul said, I'm pouring, my life is being poured out like a drink offering. And yet, I don't mind. I don't mind that I'm locked up and I'm in prison, I'm chained up. Because I know exactly the day that I am wait, anticipating, Amen. and it's mine. The minute my head comes off is the minute I'm in that day. Yes. The minute that Jesus returns, I'm in that day. Hallelujah. And we can live in that day every day because we know. Let me, put, let me give you an example. Let's say you knew you were living in some place you didn't like or something happened and you wanted to go. You wanted to go. But you had a train ticket. You have the ticket in your pocket or the plane ticket. And all you got to do is go to the airport and get on the plane and you can go and you can leave. We have a ticket, folks. We have the ticket. It's been bought for and paid for and we are not staying here. 
Now, this world is ours. This earth will be ours. But this world system is not ours. It is a fakery. It is a failure. It is a lie. And it is on limited time. So, folks, when you get up in the morning, rejoice in the day that the Lord has made and be glad in it. Because every day that you are in Christ, you are one day closer to that wonderful world. And you know what? Take that bucket list and throw it out along with the bucket. You don't need a bucket list. You've got forever to do all the things you've ever wanted yes. to do. Amen. And there is, there'll be joys and fulfillment unimaginable. In fact, Paul said, everything we suffer, he was suffering a lot. Many of us have never suffered near as much as Paul has. He said, all my sufferings pale compared to the joy that is going to be in us when we receive the kingdom. And that's how we should think about every single day when we face trials and troubles. And even if it's just boredom, remember, this is a temporary situation and we are guaranteed to not have to endure it much longer. Well, that's all we have for this Lions Table. We hope it's been a blessing to you. As always, rejoice in the day the Lord has made and be glad in it. And we will see you again next time.